welcome back to the Valdez Family Homestead. And thank you guys for being here with me today. If you are new to the channel, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with all this useful information that you can use on your very own homestead or in your backyard. Also, give us a thumbs up here on the channel. Helps us out a ton in the algorithm to get our videos up there. So let's go ahead and get straight into this video. So as you guys saw on the thumbnail, today we are gonna be helping you get your grapes started. If you're interested in growing grapes on your homestead or in your backyard, we're here to give you all that useful information to get you started here. So let me show you the materials you're gonna need. First off, the tools. So some pliers, uh, some wire cutters. Not really, you can do go by eye here. You really don't need a tape measure, but I highly suggest it. Also, come here with me, I'm gonna show you what else. So I highly suggest investing in one of these, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of work with T-posts on the homestead. This is just a post pounder here. Highly suggest investing in one of these, makes life much easier. And who doesn't wanna make life easier? Also, you're gonna need some steel fence wire. This is 14 gauge galvanized steel fence wire. So you're gonna need some of that. Then this cattle fence over here, you're gonna need, this is a 16 foot cattle fence to make that arch so the grapes can grow beautifully on that arch. So you're gonna need that, it's a 16 foot. And then you're gonna need right here, a uh, four T-post. So the four T-post, you can do six for a little bit more stability, but you'll do just fine with uh, the four there. So let's go ahead and start doing this project because it's gonna be an easy one. Oh, one last thing you will need is of course your spade shovel. And this back corner right here is where we're gonna be growing our grapes. So come with me. So we wanna keep our posts in between these two squares here so we can grow our grapes. The vines will start growing on the outer edges. So from this square to this square is 40 inches. We want the posts within those 40 inches so we can kind of lay out the foundation here so we can bring the post, line up our two posts here within those squares and then that kind of gives us an idea where we'll need to be putting the other post on the other end. You can kind of just eyeball to see where exactly you're gonna put the post. It's been raining here this morning, so it just made life a little easier for me. I was able to stick the posts in the ground. Um, so maybe if, it, if you wanna wet your ground to kind of get the post in and position where you need them to be, um, just to get you started. So it makes it a little bit easier. So I've got these two posts positioned on this side. So we're gonna go ahead and pound these in and start to get this ready for our grapes. You kinda wanna just eyeball them to make sure they're level. They don't have to be perfect, so it's not necessary to get a level. You can just kind of sort of eyeball them just to see where you, their position. So now we're going to go to the other side and get those started. So we can start to put this cattle wire fence in up like an arch. All right, since we have a 16 foot cattle wire fence here, what I'm going to do is half of that to the distance of the to the T post going across. So I'm going to measure eight feet from that T post to this one. Same thing for the other one. And like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, so you can just eyeball it just to see if you're in line with the other T posts there. And make sure you go down the same distance as those so they're all four are level. We're gonna take our cattle fencing here and then just make an arch connecting it, making sure 
the notches you're on are on the same on each side. So these, these uh, T-posts have notches. You just want to make sure you count the same amount of notches on each side. So we don't need too much of this metal wire. We're just going to take about a foot and cut it off. And then we're gonna start wrapping the first post here and then move on to, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wanna do the same to that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're gonna take this, wrap it around, go underneath on each side. And then I'm gonna leave that one like that for now so I can do this other side, get it wrapped, and then we'll finish them off here. All right, so now you're just gonna twist them around. Gonna get your pliers and make sure they're nice and tight here. You don't want to go too much because then you'll bust the wire. So just a few turns. Then you can clip off your excess wiring here. Don't clip it off all the way to the bottom so you can twist some back around the post here. Make sure it's pressed up against there so no one gets themselves snagged. Do the same thing to the other side. All right, let's go to the other side and get that finished. Then we can get our grapes planted. Now we can start digging our holes on our four corners right within these squares of the cattle fence here. So one, two, and then three and four. That's what we're doing. We're growing four grapevines on this arch here. Okay, so we've got all four holes dug for all four grapevines that are gonna be growing up this beautiful arch that we made here. Very simple as you saw in the video. Uh, so we're gonna get some dirt, we're gonna plant these in the ground, and then we're gonna talk some more about your grapes. We have all four roots already buried under the sides. So once these start growing, we're gonna have beautiful vines running up across this arch we built. And so we're super excited to be planting these and eventually have grapes and be able to use these leaves on here too because everything on these grape plants are very healthy. We're planting some red grapes here and the leaves are very healthy too to consume. You can do different things with them and my family's culture, I'm part Chilean and in, I have also have Arabic roots. So my grandmother makes these things called lulitos out of these leaves. So it's basically the grape leaf. Once you have a big, beautiful leaf and she takes it and wraps ground beef and rice inside and cooks those and they, they are, they taste wonderfully. You gotta try them, look them up. Lulitos. Let's go ahead and start to get these planted. Like I had said, I have the roots already in these holes. So we're going to put some fresh composting dirt here into uh, fill it, fill it up about halfway 
and then after we have it filled halfway we're gonna dump some water roughly a gallon of water and um, start to do this process so we're pretty much almost done like I said it was an easy this was an easy build for this arch with your T post and your cattle fencing and then you just gotta have your great plants so let's get this finished If taken care of right, grapes will produce for you for roughly 30 years if you're taking care of them correctly. So this wonderful fruit plant will provide for you for many years as long as you're giving it the right care, taking care of it, let mother nature do the rest for you. We're gonna let this soak. The roots will start to loosen up here. And you can see the vine is already pretty long on this. It's gonna be wonderful to see this growing day by day, week after week, month after month, and then through the years, seeing it grow. It's gonna be amazing, and you guys are gonna be on this journey with us as long as you're subscribed. Also hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on these videos as we have tons more videos coming. As I had stated, tomorrow we get our chickens here on the homestead. We're super excited to get those and uh, there's some videos coming soon for that. Also, we're gonna be building that chicken coop. So you don't wanna miss out that on that. If you missed out on our build and to Tell you guys if that temporary run that we got for the chickens is worth it if you missed that video go ahead and go check that out it was a chicken run we had gotten from Wayfair so we got this filled with water we got the loose the roots loosened up here so we're gonna fill the rest with our composting dirt we're gonna break up some of this dirt that we had dug up as well start packing up the plant nice and packed in there. If you also missed the video yesterday on the hog wire fencing that we built here on the homestead, go check that video out because in this area I'm in right now it is going to be our garden and I'm glad to say this is our first thing we're planting here and we're super excited. This is one of the most exciting plants we're planting here on the homestead. Stay tuned because next we're gonna be planting probably some blackberries. Might not make a video on it, but we sure will share it on one of our other videos as we continue to grow our garden. Okay, so we got the first one done here. I'm gonna go ahead and finish out the rest and then we'll finish up this video after I've gotten all of them planted just to show you guys how it turned out. Let's go take a look at the grape trellis we just built. This is a short video because that's how easy it is to build this, but let's go ahead and take a look at it. So you can see on the four corners, we have our grape vines that are gonna start growing up this beautiful trellis that we built. On each side here, So they'll start growing up here with your grapes. And the exciting part is once you get to start harvesting those grapes, you can say you grew something on your own. So we're super excited for this to start growing. Of course, you just gotta let mother nature take its course. Everything takes time. It's not gonna grow overnight. We can all say it's easy just to run out and buy some grapes, but it pays off to do the hard work yourself. And at the end, you get to enjoy a healthy snack that you grew on your own homestead. And so, like I said, look up some recipes with those grape leaves because there's a ton out there. I know there are some Armenian recipes as well that you can do with these grape leaves. But it was fun building this here with you on the channel today. Like I said, stay tuned. There's some more exciting videos coming out. But I want to thank you all for being here with me on this journey today and building this grape trellis. Once again, thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed 
And until the next one here on the Valdez Homestead, 